Looking to crop a screenshot on your Mac? This video will show you how to crop a screenshot on Mac using the Screenshot app, Keyboard Shortcuts, Preview, and the Photos app. Let's start with the Screenshot app. You can launch the app from the Applications Utilities folder or just press Command Shift 5 on your keyboard. Select the Capture Selected Portion icon to crop the screenshot before taking it. Alternatively, choose Capture Entire Screen or Capture Selected Window to crop the screenshot after taking it. Click the Capture button to take your screenshot, then click the floating thumbnail to open the image. Click the Show Markup Toolbar button to reveal Apple's markup tools, then click the Crop button. Move the crop marks to select the desired image area, then click the Done button to save your changes. You can use keyboard shortcuts to accelerate this process. Press Command Shift 4, then drag the cursor to select a specific area of the screen to capture. Press Command Shift 4, then press Spacebar to select a window to capture. Your cursor will turn into a camera icon. Click a window to take a screenshot of just that window. If you want to capture your entire screen, press Command Shift 3. Another common way to crop a screenshot or any other image is via the Preview app. Open your screenshot in Preview and click the Show Markup Toolbar button. Next, select the Rectangular Selection tool. Drag the cursor to select an area of the image. When you're satisfied with your selected area, apply the crop by clicking the Crop to Selection button in the Markup Toolbar, or press Command-K on your keyboard. Finally, let's try cropping an image with the Photos app. Open the image in Photos and click the Edit button at the top right of the toolbar. Next, choose the Crop tab. The Crop tab allows you to use preset aspect ratios or manually adjust the sides to get the perfect crop. After cropping the screenshot to your desired dimensions, click Done to save the edited image. Please see the text version of this tutorial for more details, and remember to follow or subscribe to iClarified for more Apple news, videos, and tutorials.